Hey, today I'm gonna to talk about how I pay myself in a single member LLC. My name is Morgan from finepoints.biz and I love helping you guys organize your bookkeeping businesses. So I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, that helps me out a ton, and then hit the red subscribe button down below. I come out with a new video every week about bookkeeping. So when you first start a business, it seems confusing, like how do I give myself a paycheck? Like I know business owners who have like waited months and months before they paid themselves because they really didn't know what to do or it seems hard. So the first thing I'm gonna do is tell you the very, very simple way that I pay myself. And then I'll go into some other options because you know it does get a little more complex depending on what kind of business you have and there's certain options. But I am a single member LLC. That means I have an LLC, a limited liability company distinction for my business. And I, it's just me in the business, so I don't have anyone else, I don't have any owners that are owning it with me. So anytime I want to give myself a paycheck, I simply transfer money from my business account into my personal account. That's as simple as it can possibly be. And one thing that you do have to remember is when you're recording it in QuickBooks, so say I transfer $500 into my personal account as my owner's draw or my paycheck then I have to make sure I record that as an equity account. And in my QuickBooks, it's called an owner's draw. So equity just means money that the owner is putting in or taking out of the account. So maybe when you started your business, you know, you contributed, you know, a few hundred dollars to buy a computer or to do certain, get a business license and that kind of thing. That is equity that you're putting into the business. But when you're taking out money for your paycheck, it's equity that's going out of the business. So it does have to be have that distinction as an equity account within the chart of accounts in QuickBooks. Check out my video on the chart of accounts if you don't know what the chart of accounts is. So as you can see, it's very, very simple. Um, now I'll talk about a couple alternatives you could do. So some people like writing checks, like write a paper check um, to deposit into their personal bank account because that does give a little bit more of a paper trail um, for me, my business is so simple. I don't really need that. I just know when my owner's draws are coming or I can easily identify them in my bank account when they show up. If you wanted to get like cash out of the ATM machine, that would be the same thing. As long as whatever, however the money is coming out, um, you're putting it in the right bucket in QuickBooks. And you might not know how much to pay yourself. So this is a little bit of a personal preference and there's different philosophies out there. You know, maybe some people think you should save a certain amount or you should, um, you know, invest it back into the business. You should definitely be saving some for taxes. Again, I have a video about that. I'll link down below for you guys. But how I personally do it, because I only work part time and my business isn't supporting my family, I just wait until I have like you know, a few thousand dollars saved up in my business if I have like a house project that I want to work on. When I just have a larger chunk of money, I'll just be like, oh, okay, my business is doing well. I don't have any big expenses coming up. I'm gonna transfer $3,000 back into my personal account to take my paycheck or my owner's draw. So if your business is more complicated or if you're making a lot of money and supporting family and um, you need to be more systematized, definitely work on a budget and do it that way. Um, if you're just starting out and you have excess money, you can take it as an owner's draw. And again, you could also, if, you're, if your business doesn't have enough cash in it, then you can always put money back in as equity, um, as you know, contributing cash back to your business. So nothing is totally set in stone, even if you're taking out those, those paychecks. And one thing to think about is how that money looks within your, your business's books. So if you're taking owner's draws as a single member LLC with a transfer, like I was talking about, that expense is not really a business expense. It's not showing up on your profit and loss statement. So your profit and loss statement shows all the money you made and everything, you know, your utilities, everything you spent. And at the bottom, it gives you your, your income, like how much money your business made, your bottom line. But if you're taking an owner's draw, that is not one of the expenses listed because it's equity you actually have to go to the balance sheet in QuickBooks to find that owner's draw. Because the balance sheet shows an overall picture of your finances. It shows how much money is in your bank accounts, if you have any outstanding loans, and it shows the equity that is coming in and out of your business. So it shows those owner's draws. So you can pull a, pro you can pull a balance sheet for the year and you can see you know, how much your yearly salary has been that year. But that is an important distinction because when you look at your profit and loss statement and it says your business made you know, $3,000 this quarter, 
you want to subtract out in your mind, oh, actually, I don't have that much money in my bank account because I took it out as equity. So a really simple way to think about it is that, you know, your bottom line is how much your company made and then minus your owner's draws. One other option you can do is you can pay yourself as an employee of your business. So I do want you to talk to an accountant or a tax preparer or a lawyer or someone who knows um, really specifically about your business and how it's set up and what would give you the best tax advantages for this. I will go over this briefly because in some cases it's necessary or it's you know helpful to know. So if you are an employee of your business, then it would be similar to if you had people working for you. You know, if you had an assistant or a secretary or something or another bookkeeper working for you. And you would pay yourself a reasonable wage. So whatever you think reasonably a bookkeeper would make based on the hours that you're working. And then you would pay yourself a monthly paycheck, maybe like through uh, payroll companies so that they would take out all the taxes and do all that stuff for you. But you would be paying yourself a regular wage. And then at the end of the year, you would get a W-2 form, just like you would if you were working for a larger corporation. So I've been advised in my particular situation that it is not as big of a tax advantage to work as an employee in my business. So that is why I take those owner's draws or distributions. And again, don't forget if you have different types of businesses, if you're a corporation or if you're a multi-member LLC, there are different rules and different advantages for how to pay yourself. But I did just wanna make this video and take some of the mystery out of it because I feel like a lot of times it seems intimidating to people um, when they're starting out. And so I hope this was encouraging and this helped you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I might not have the particular knowledge about exactly your situation, so I might not be able to answer it specifically, but maybe someone else in the comments can help you out. Or um, you, know, you can do some more research um, for people who have a business structure and situation like yours. Thanks so much, bye.